Hello friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button. I would love to have you as a subby friend. So today we're doing a video. I did this tumbler for a friend and it turned out super cute. So I went back, got one for myself because I thought, oh, I should do this and show it to you guys because it came out so cute. So this tumbler came from TJ Maxx. It was $12.99. And so this tumbler, I am going to put epoxy on it, but I wanted to show you what it looks like, you know, if you find a tumbler that is already decorated and you want to personalize it, I want to show you how that comes out and really cute. And so honestly, if you are like last minute trying to do some um, Halloween tumblers to sell or whatever, like you could pick some of these up, get them done pretty quick. Also... I feel like, you know, you see these on sale after the holiday and you can pick them up and have them for the next year, right? So this is stainless steel and I am just going to put my name on it. I decided to use this like rainbow glitter. I cut my decal out with my Cricut and I am using heat transfer vinyl because I wanted this rainbow. I'm just gonna put some little slits in my carrier so that it lays down nicely. And then just kind of put it how I want it. Um, and I just have my Cricut Heat Press Mini and I'm just going to iron this on. Now, if you don't want to put um, epoxy on this, you don't have to. You can certainly just do it from here. Just, you know, do this heat vinyl. It stays on really, really well. And it's personalized and you're done. That's good. All right, so now we'll go put some epoxy on it. So I have my cup. Now, I did forget to tell you guys, I did clean this with alcohol prior to uh, putting on my decal. Um, I didn't clean the bottom. I cleaned it now, but before I didn't because the sticker was still on it, but now it's been cleaned. So everything has been cleaned with alcohol. So I have 20 cc's of epoxy here. This is Hippie Crafter Epoxy, part A, part B. So 10 cc's of each. And I mixed it using my uh, mixer from Hobby Lobby. So this is just some white glitter. I'm just gonna put a tiny bit in, not a lot. Kind of stir that up a bit. And I need it to go the other way. There we go. So now I'm just gonna put this on.
I know this is spinning around. I don't have a good, um, this is another one of those big cups that I don't usually do. So I'm gonna have to get a good thumb to fit this size cup. But once I get this on, it'll spin and it'll be fine. I don't have any um, bubbles in this. If I did, I could just take some heat to it and it would be fine, but that's it. So 20 cc's I think will be absolutely fine. We're gonna let this go and um, we'll look at it when it's done. All right, friends, and here is our final product. So, I'm hoping that you can see the sparkle in there. So having a decent white thin glitter is so important because, so you see, I put the white glitter in here, but it gives off like a rainbow sparkle. So the nice thing with the white glitter is it will pick up whatever you have going on. So you could spray paint a tumbler so say you want to do like a certain color of tumbler and you you want to do like an ombre and you don't have the glitter but you have the spray paint so you could spray paint your tumbler and then you could take white glitter and you could do like the rub off method with the white glitter and it will actually pick up the colors underneath it. So it will look like you ombre your cup with those colors. So a good white glitter is so important. Now, also, I put 20 cc's on this cup. Now this cup is for me and I like that it's nice and thin, but I will be honest, I probably should have done 30 cc's because it is big. And please excuse me, cc's and milliliters are the exact same thing. I'm a nurse, so I tend to, and I'm an old school nurse, so I tend to talk in cc's instead of milliliters, but it is the exact same measurement, okay? So I probably could have done 30 and had just a little bit more over, um, uh, just a little thicker coverage over my name, it's fine. But if I were giving this to somebody else, I would take the time and put about 10 more cc's on it. But this turned out really cute. So this is just the whole idea that you can take a tumbler that's already got a fun picture on it that you want and you can personalize it and you can still do a glitter epoxy tumbler and Nobody would even be the wiser that you didn't put that picture on. This turned out so super cute. So anyways, I hope you guys like the idea. Again, I got this tumbler at TJ Maxx for $12.99. And it's a nice tumbler with a good top, good straw. You know, these things are there all the time. And after the holiday, whatever the holiday is, they'll go on sale. And yeah, did the bottom, of course. And I just really like the way it turned out. So listen, I hope you guys like it. I hope it was helpful. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. And um, if you haven't done so, hit subscribe. I'd appreciate it greatly. And if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. I'm sorry for the noise in the background. My neighbors are getting their fence put up. It has taken so long. I'm finally getting my fence put up on Thursday. And I can't wait. My dogs can't wait. All right, listen, have a good one, guys. I'll see you later. Bye. I know that this is a little dark, but I'm hoping, I want you guys to be able to see how the glitter sparkles on here. Like it's hard to get a good light so that you could see it. So it looks like this darker, you see how it has like that color light in there? Yeah, see, you can see 
the glitter brings up like different kind of rainbow colors going on. All right. I hope you guys have a good one. Bye.